YouTube is like therapy. I can say whatever the fuck I want and can't nobody say shit back. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can leave your comments and everything, but I already said what I had to say, so it don't even really matter. I'm like, and I don't know you, so it's like you, you can't hurt me. People don't know how to hurt my feelings because I don't let them know how to hurt my feelings. So say what you want to say. This is good for me. Yeah, call me that. <clears throat> oh, I know why I keep on doing this. I'm stupid because I'm like, what, what? I had this dream. <clears throat> and, um, okay, so like in the dream, I got mad at one of my friends. I will say, I won't say which one of my friends, but. So then I left and I got on the bus to go home and the bus was really, really crowded and <clears throat> so I didn't have any money. I think I put in the bus fare or whatever, but I didn't have any money or so I don't know. The bus driver ended up giving me six dollars. So I was standing next to this other girl and we were talking or whatever and me, the girl, and the bus driver because we were so crowded on the bus we were standing like right by the bus driver so we were all just talking while she was driving and she was really nice <clears throat> and so then we get off the bus no we were driving through LA and it was just looked so I was like it looks like the country out here <laughs> like that and and it wasn't a good thing it was really ugly it was just dirt and water and torn down buildings and I mean like dirt fields it was just really ugly and so <clears throat> I was like all right well I have to take the train home anyway so I mean if this is the way I gotta go this is the way I gotta go so I was on the bus get to the train station or to, to stop where you get off the bus and then like I don't know we were I guess we were talking about music or something and <clears throat> We passed by this jazz club or something and the bus driver and the girl were singing and some other chick and they were singing. They had really pretty voices and I was like, <clears throat> wow. And then they were like, well, you sing too, don't you? And I was like, no, I compose, I compose or whatever. So I didn't think so. We walked to the train station that we were going to and then... <clears throat> Some people came, some guys, they came and they <clears throat> they tried to jack us for all our money and I was like, I only got six dollars, so here, have that or whatever. And he was like, well, then you gotta do something or whatever. And I was like, I ain't doing nothing. And so they like tried to beat me up or whatever. And I don't know how I got away. I fought or something they try to like beat me up and rape me and I fought or something and I was like no <clears throat> and so then I um I ran through like some apartment building it was just like everybody every time I get somewhere some more people was chasing me or whatever and I was just like fuck so then this one guy he got me and he cornered me kind of and he had a flashlight and I was like at first I thought it was a gun I was like oh god this is the end of my life he's gonna shoot me he is going to kill me and so then I just took the flashlight from him or I asked him to see it I was like all right all right I'll get myself up I, I just I, I quit you can take me can't but can I just see the flashlight and gave it to me so I beat him with it I was like ur, ur, ur. you know and I beat the shit out of him with the flashlight so then I ran and I got away and I got away and then I was like there I was almost like toward the end I know where I was going because I lived there it was like unfamiliar territory so basically I was just running so I was running through alleys and stuff or whatever why I don't know I didn't scream for help I guess I was afraid that if I scream for help or whatever it would give away my location since everybody in the neighborhood was after me anyway so I was just like I just better be quiet and keep running so 
then I like hit the street and then I got to like the train tracks or whatever after I bust the corner I got to the train tracks and then it was like it was like a park and then the train tracks went through the park or whatever and then a whole bunch of people just came out of nowhere and they just had bats they had everything they all was like finna attack me I was like you know what I'm a survivor, so you can beat me down as much as you want, you know what I'm saying, but I'm going to get back up, so you better kill me, you know what I'm saying, because when I get back up, I'm taking everybody down, and I really feel like that, you know, and so, I was just like, you know, finally, they just left me alone, I was just like, I don't know, I guess I knocked one guy out with the bat, I mean, you know, I took the bat from him, how, I don't know you know or whatever but I was like you know what you need to just get the fuck up out of here cuz I'm, I'm about real pissed right now and you finna get me down and I, I was beat up some too already so I guess you know bitches chasing me niggas chasing me I was like so anyway I guess my lesson to myself is I'm a survivor because sometimes I don't think I am. I just don't feel like I can make it, you know. And to me, my sanity is the most important to me. I think that's the most important thing to me because I have been insane or I felt like I was or I felt like I was going to be. <laughs> and it's not pretty. And, you know, if I could just have my sanity, I'm okay. I am okay. That's that's all I do. I'm not trying to be like the richest person. I don't ask anybody for anything. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't work, I don't ask nobody for nothing. The only person I ever ask for anything is my daddy. And that's only because you got to pay into it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you want me to take care of you when you older, then you need to take care of me right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I love my dad already, but still, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to pay into that shit. <laughs> you know, like my mom, she ain't paying into it, so I don't know what she gonna do when she get older, because I don't like her, you know? So that's my theory on that. <laughs> you know, I just, I don't, I mean, I, I want to have people around, don't get me wrong, but need, I don't really need anybody. It, I just feel like everything I feel like I need, when I am feeling like I need somebody, I just need to find that within myself, and I'm going to be okay. I'm a pretty strong person, resilient. I mean, you know, like some people are into cars. I mean, I have a car. It gets me to where I need to go. Sometimes it doesn't. I mean, you know, I'm have to be on the bus. Whatever. Not a big deal. Gas is like a hundred dollars anyway, so I'm alright. I just get on the bus. You know? Public transportation ain't gonna kill me. Just deal with it for the short amount of time that you have to deal with it. You know, I'm not I just don't want to worry about stuff that doesn't really even matter. It, it, worrying about it will make me insane and, and depressed 